Last week, the House of Lords released their long-awaited report into EU membership in UK science. And the headline conclusion was that the overwhelming balance of opinion greatly valued the UK's membership of the EU. But we already knew that the vast majority of scientists were for remaining. We had the case survey which found that 93% of researchers agreed that the EU was a major benefit to UK research. We had the nature poll which found that 83% of active UK researchers would be voting to remain. And then also we have over 100 universities lending their support and every single minister for universities and science going back 25 years. But why is there this preponderance of support for the EU, this overwhelming support? Well, it's because the EU has been great for UK science. Uh, here are three key lines as to why that is. Firstly, there's the EU science programme. Secondly, there's setting policy for research and innovation at the EU level. And then thirdly, there's our freedom of movement arrangement that we have. Now, with the EU science programme, the key thing is not the money, uh, but rather the networking that it facilitates. So all of our governments chip into this, this pot for science so that we can engage in multinational collaborations. And we know that international research has more impact than domestic only research. That's the key thing there. With policy, we're not just talking about setting the policies of the EU science program. We're talking about all of the um, harmonization of standards for research and innovation and technology across the EU. So that impacts our academia and also our businesses. It's important to be able to have a say in that. Thirdly, the freedom of movement arrangement that we have with the EU is great not only for our own scientists, but also for universities and particularly small businesses that want to hire talent from this talent pool of 500 million and do it visa-free without that burden of bureaucracy. And finally, let's remember the scale of EU science. The EU produces more scientific output than the US or than China. It is a science superpower and we are currently in the driving seat. Stepping away from that would be no good for British science.